Institute of Neuroscience and Medicine at the Research Centre Ulich employs about 400 people, all investigating the brain. The temporal scale as well as the length scale, we want to investigate millisecond changes in the brain right through to changes in the ageing brain, in an ageing population. We want to be able to investigate the brain in its uh, spatial resolution well below a micron, right through to of course the whole brain itself. The transfer platform, funded jointly by the German government and Siemens, costs 20 million euros. The idea behind the platform is to enable metabolic research as well as normal investigative methodologies to look at the brain. We want to be able to look at the human brain with MR-PET as well as investigating its temporal changes using EEG. And we want to be able to investigate animal models like rats and mice using the same methodology that we develop for humans by virtue of having the same hardware platform. If you develop a method for humans, you can translate it directly to the animal scanner and vice versa. With MRI, for example, you can look at brain structure very, very beautifully. You can look at brain function. With PET, you can get a handle on metabolic activity. And of course, EEG gives you access to temporal resolution on a millisecond time scale that's simply not possible with the other two methods. We're able to do those three techniques simultaneously in one measurement and therefore we have access to all three types of information. The challenges in multimodal designs are usually of technological nature. For example, you can't use photomultipliers tubes which are normally used in PET scanners in an MRI scanner because of the magnetic fields. Instead, one uses avalanche photodiodes. Here at the Forschungszentrum in Juli, we are focusing on RF coils. For example, the coils should be compatible with the PET scanner in the nature that they don't absorb gamma rays too much. And on the other hand, they are consistent with EEG, so for example, the leads um, should not couple to the RF of the coil. We have built a worldwide unique 9.4T animal scanner that is based on clinical MR hard and software. The advantage is that we can take sequences from the human scanner and bring it down to the animal scanner and they run without changing parameters in between too much. We hope to be able to do research starting with investigation of new drugs from the animal and take it right up to the bedside on the human scanner. So animal models are very important because they create the disease, we see the symptoms, uh, we can analyze the tissue histologically and see the effects caused by disease and we know what effects these changes in tissue have created on the quantitative MR parameters. If we measure patients at the same field strength, which is possible at 9.4 Tesla, then we can directly translate this understanding to understanding disease in humans better. Uh, also specific applications of susceptibility mapping can be very useful for patients, for example, visualizing the subthalamic nucleus, which is the site of implantation of electrodes for deep brain stimulation. For psychiatric diseases, MR PET holds great promise. The main focus will be the search for biomarkers. At the moment, clinically, the decision which medication, for example, in a schizophrenic patient to give is based on the the effects and side effects of the medication itself. But at the moment I do not have prior knowledge whether that medication will be effectful and treat the patient. When I have a biomarker which predicts the outcome of my medication choice, then the medication will be optimized from day one. Magnetic resonance imaging and positron emission tomography provide very important data uh, for the diagnosis of brain diseases, but they provide completely different information. So if we can bring this information together in a hybrid system, we can increase the specificity of the diagnosis of diseases like brain tumors or Alzheimer's disease. If we do an investigation, it takes some time, for example, in patients up to 50 minutes or so. And so it's a very long time for the patient. If we can do the different investigations in one single study, in a one-stop shop, then it's very comfortable for the patient. In the future, we will be able to combine the different investigations and we can get also additional information by uh, data processing, data post-processing, and thus increase uh, further the diagnostic value of the studies. 
The future for the Institute of Neuroscience and Medicine is to develop key technologies, cutting edge methods that we can employ to study the brain. And what we want to do is to understand that structural changes in the brain are normally preceded by functional changes. And these functional changes are often preceded by metabolic changes. And we want to investigate the metabolic changes that take place in the brain, which occur much, much earlier than the structural changes which are right at the end of the chain. And that is where our hybrid 9.4 Tesla MR PET machine is unique in that it enables us to investigate metabolism and metabolic changes together with all of the other changes in one session.